If you take a few minutes, get the blade sharp, set the tool up for an appropriate cut, all of a sudden it does things you never thought were possible. Set any of these planes up for a finishing cut, but the fact that this plane is so small means it follows shape. This, the short bed will go in and out of, of high spots and low spots. So that's why I have some, well, we'll often have two sizes. And whenever you're using a honing guide, particularly one with a narrow wheel like this, I do all my setup before I ever go to work with my little block. You'll notice that this edge on a brand new chisel is very sharp. And we do that intentionally. Because you're, the first thing you're going to do when you get a chisel at home is you're going to lap the back. Light pressure, as long as it's engaged, will keep a flat surface better. So I'm red, running parallel here. I come across. But don't go all the way through. And I'm starting at the far end of the piece. And then I gradually work my way back. So as soon as I get to the bottom, to where the height of the, the depth stop is, it'll stop cutting. Whatever angle that feels good, that's the angle I want to be working at. The thing you'll notice though, is the difference in surface. <laughs> 